Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the final lecture of uh, the transducer series. Um, this is going to be a really short lecture that will introduce the basic concept of uh, minimization, right? Uh, this is the final, the final operation that we, that I'll be introducing for transducers. So this is where we are. Uh, we are at the end. We are exactly at the end. So what is minimization? So um, given any 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 deterministic finite automaton. Right, you you would want to uh, you know minimize the number of states. Certain states cannot be reached, or certain states are not worth reaching. You can think of it this way. So that's why you need to sort of uh, minimize your WFST. Right. So there are many many ways to do it, but the one algorithm that I'm going to highlight is the one that's mentioned in uh, in uh, uh, Hori's book. Right. So so given a transducer. The first step you need to do is to determinize it, right? Run the determinization algorithm on it, and then you get that t, right? So once you have a determinized transducer, right, then you move on, right, to weight pushing it, right? It's because you want to speed up the pro the process, so you you're gonna take that t and push it, and you get push that t, push that t. So this is a determinized weight pushed transducer, and once you've got gotten this down. What you need to do is to perform a minimization algorithm. There are many, many minimization algorithms out there, right? And once you perform the minimization algorithm, now if you go back, you can see there's an extra uh, state here, number four, that doesn't take input, doesn't have an output, but it's there. And if you were to have many, many of such paths, what happens? Well, it slows down the process of any transduction problems. Remember, transduction problems requires you to search through the entire graph, and you wouldn't want to be walking through paths that are not worth walking through. You would, you, you, there, these paths are, are, well, are dead weight. You, you want to lose them. That's why you want to minimize your WFST, right? Um, and then you get this. You see, the path, the path is is removed. It's removed, and then you get a more compact. Uh, uh, WFST. Now, as to why this is mathematically equivalent, this is this particular transducer here. You see, is mathematically equivalent to the, the to the previous ones. Um, well, that that is in itself a huge lecture, and the the equivalency theorem it's uh, is proved in certain math textbooks, right? But it, this is out of uh, our, the scope of this course, so don't worry, right? So. The, the the most popular popular uh, minimization algorithm is known as the Hopcroft's algorithm. So um, this this is a very efficient uh, um, um, minimization algorithm for a deterministic uh, finite automaton. Remember, deterministic finite automaton, right? So uh, but if you have a acyclic transducer, uh, remember doesn't really need to be deterministic now, right? You can actually use the uh, reverse reverse Algorithm. Uh, this is a more efficient algorithm for a acyclic transducer, right? So when you always remember, reduce the number of states, right? By reducing the number of states, you your your search space is greatly reduced. You shorten your search time. You solve your transduction problem quickly, right? So this is the main rationale for minimization. So it's a very very short lecture. I'll come to the end, and uh, just to record, just to just to. Uh, Hopefully you still remember this: is that the minimization requires determinization weight pushing, right? So therefore, you you really and 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 some other algorithms as well. So determinization really requires the semi ring to be to have uh, all these four properties, right? So I've come to the end of my lecture, right? Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed it. Um, currently. These are some of the applications of transducers, right? Speech recognition, text classification, so on and so forth. So these are very important fields and the very current fields that are that are using uh, and taking advantage of a uh, weighted, weighted fi finite state transducers. So uh, if you have been, uh, if you have enjoyed this lecture, I hope to see you again next time. Thank you.